everyone, I'm Obs on Abs Avenue, and today I'm going to bottle my deer meat and I'll show you the process of how I do it. Okay, so for me, I'm just gonna use my old bottles from last year. They get a little dusty, so all I need to do is just clean them. And the only new thing you'll need is new lids so that you can have a fresh seal on it. And to wash my jars, I just use hot, soapy vinegar water. Then I'll take off the lids and I'll let them soak for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so now I got my bottles all cleaned and they're drying and it's time to move on to cooking. Okay, to start, you're gonna wanna turn your oven onto a high broil. So here is what you will need. Your chunked up meat, season all salt, at least a couple of cookie sheets, and then you need to make a beef broth and it is one bouillon cube per one cup of water. And you need to get it dissolved and I like to heat mine up in the microwave and stir it to dissolve it. Okay, so I'm gonna take my meat and spread it out as evenly as I can on the pan. And then I'm gonna spread the seasonal salt in a thin layer. Okay. I'm gonna grab out my okay. gonna stick it in and just keep your eye on it till it's good and round. Um, it probably takes about seven or eight minutes. And then here it comes out nice and brown on the tops. Okay now you're gonna want to start putting your meat in the bottles and you stick it in and you want to push it down really good with your spoon. And then you want to go until you're about to the brim. So that when you pressure, you got some room in here for pressure cooking. And then you're gonna pour in your beef broth, again, just to this rim. And then after that's all done, you're gonna take a damp, wet rag and you're just gonna wipe around the rim of it. Now I'm going to get my exact number of lids I need and I'm going to Boil them for a minute to loosen up the seal. Okay, now my bottles, my meat, and my lids have all been prepared, and now I am ready to can. Okay, this is my pressure cooker. Um, on the bottom, I was able to fit nine cans, and on the top layer, I got three, six, seven, seven cans. I could probably fit eight up there. So in here, you'll need to dump four quarts of water, or 16 cups, which will equal two of these. Always check your seal to make sure it's good, that it doesn't, um, isn't cracking and that it's still a, a good seal. All right, go ahead and put your lid on and turn it into the lock position. Now the pressure cooker that I have is called a, or it is a boppler. So I just put this thing on here. I'm going to be doing it at a 10 pressure today. So this one right here. Um, there are also digital ones and, um, ones that can tell you the pressure exactly. This is the one I have today. So you're going to want to turn your stove on to high and let it get up to pressure. All right. I'm finally up to pressure and it's bobbling really good. So I'm going to set my timer for 90 minutes. And then go ahead and start keeping it at 10 pounds. Every couple minutes here, I'll turn it down a little bit. You're gonna want it to bobble on and off a couple times a minute. So I'm gonna want this bobbler to stop bobbling and then pick back up. 
because that it will do a couple times a minute. So this is kind of what it's supposed to sound like. It bobbles for a little bit and then it stops. So now we're going to turn it off and we're just going to let the pressure naturally release all by itself. Okay, they are all done. Now the next step is just letting them to finish cooling and then marking the year on them and putting them in your storage for your meals to come. And as they finish shielding, the lids will make a popping sound and when you push on them, you can't push it in at all, which will mean that it is sealed. If you can push it down, then it is not sealed. That was the sound of a lid getting sealed.